we finished our, so our side flanges now. Now we have to put the radius in the corner. Now I've pre-ground these, or this tool, with two radius in it. And you can see, if we come in, we can, should be able to put a radius on that side. And from the back, we come in, we can put a radius from that side. Just swap our tool over. Lock that up there. Start our lathe and bring our tool up to the um, to the corner. And by bringing that, by bringing that up to the face, a little bit of um, pre-setting, get the correct depth, we can do the uh, the chamfer on the inside, and that's it finished. We'll take it over to the bench and try it in the crankshaft now. Well, here we are. We've, uh, we've bolted up one of the connecting rods, or two of the connecting rods, and we tighten those up to the required tension. It is a span of such a length and that much force. Now it's, a, it's not too bad, that would be passable, it has a tight spot in it there somewhere, but that's not too bad, that's quite acceptable. Uh, that would smooth out after 10 minutes of idling, and it's not too bad, it turn, you can turn it with one finger, that's okay, but we'll have a look at it anyway, we'll undo it again. Now careful when we take it off that we don't lose the shims or drop the shims. <coughs> now I, I 
put that down a certain way. I put that down so the small section is on the bench. And I lay them out left to right. So I don't mix them up. Alright, there it is. Now, you can see here we've got a little bright or, or dark spot along the side there. And that's just in the corner there. Could be a high spot, could be anything. But we can scrape that out. And we use a, a half round scraper, bearing scraper. There it is there. I've had this one for years. Um, you can make one up out of a half round file, or you can purchase them. There's, there's quite a few of them at sales, at boot, car boot sales, etc. around the district. Now it's hollow ground, that is, that's ground on the face of the, of the grinding wheel. And then it's a matter of just honing it up nicely. This is very sharp, and it'll cut that white metal very easily. You can see the mark there. And you could just take that that mark off there. Same with the cap. Now you're only taking very small bits of that, even though you can see that chip coming off that, it's probably only about, you know, a, a tenth of a thousandth of an inch. It's not very much. If your bearing's tight and you try and scrape it in, you'll be there for hours. And of course, if your bearing is tight, then what you can, or or, uh, or tight, you can, you can um, just add a shim in there if you like. But this is, I've turned this to point um, oh five of a millimeter clearance, and it seems to be good enough. Now, if you turn it too large, then you can take a shim out. Okay, and you can close the gap up using um, using those graduated shims that you can peel off, peel apart that I showed you before. There we are. We can clean that up. Hands. Put our shims back on again. There they are there. You can peel one of those off. And it would take only one off. Now that's that's about a thou and a half in the old system thickness. So you take one off and then try it. You don't have to take two off. Just one. And you'd probably find that it'd fit if it's too loose. Try it again. a lot better. 
Okay, that's quite acceptable. That's good. That's good.